we have a situation here where we're building a new soccer field. And presumably it's an indoor field because we're going to cover it uh, with AstroTurf, which is a kind of artificial grass. So we know the dimensions of the field. Uh, and we know the unit cost of the grass. We want to use that to figure out the total cost. Now, the first thing that jumps out to me here uh, is that the units are inconsistent. Right? The dimensions are given in yards and the unit cost is given in square feet. And that's a problem because whenever we do this kind of problem, we need to be sure we're using the same base unit across the board. So what I'm going to do here, we have two choices. We can, we can convert the two yard values into uh, feet, or we can convert the square foot value into square yards. I, it, it really is six or half dozen the other. You're going to get the right answer either way. Uh, frankly, I, I think it's just a little bit easier to take the yard values and convert them into feet, because that's just going to be multiplying each one by two, because that's our conversion factor, right? There's three feet per yards. We set this up using our unit ana uh, dimensional analysis approach. I'm going to take 120 yards, multiply that by 3 feet per yard, and that becomes 360 feet. Now I'm going to do the same thing with the other value. I'm going to take 80 yards, multiply that by 3 feet per yard, and we get 240 feet. Good. So now, now I have the, the total dimensions of the field in the unit that I need them to be in. So now we can find the area. The area of a rectangle, that's length times width. So if I put my numbers in here, 80, uh, 360, and 240 using the feet values, that comes out to 86,400 square feet. Right now, but that's not the answer, right? The question asked uh, for the cost. So to get to the cost, I'm going to kind of do this dimensional analysis thing again. I'm going to take that 86,400 square feet, and I'm going to multiply it by that unit cost, $15 per square foot, the square feet are going to cancel. All that's left is going to be dollars, and that's what I wanted. My total cost is going to be about $1,296,000. If you'd like to get the full context, you can click on the link here to see the corresponding lecture. And if you like this example or found it helpful, please go ahead and click on the like button below.